Hi everyone, so today as you can see I have a pet haul. I've got supplies, toys and treats to show to you today. So we'll start with these items first, I'll just get straight into the haul because I've got a lot of supplies to get through. Rosie is free ranging at the minute so she might suddenly hop across the screen, I'm pretty sure that she will do, although she's eating my carpet at the minute so yes, <laughs> we'll have to hurry up a little bit. So first of all, I have this little VIP leaflet and it's just got some vouchers inside. I'm not going to show you anything because it's got some personal details on, like my name, so that's just that. Next I got this new veggie bowl for her. You've probably seen this in the cage tour that I did on the previous video. And it's just a nice little purple colour, something to put veg in, so she likes that. Next I got some more Supreme Keep It Clean Disinfectant and this one is from Sainsbury's. So that's that. It's my favourite disinfectant to use in the cage and in the hutch. So yeah, I just got some more because I was running out. Here's Rosie. <laughs> so the next thing that I got was some of the Bob Martin My Little Friend Softwood Bedding. Although I just need to say that I won't be using this because Rosie actually has snuffles. So I don't really want any dust particles going up her nose and making the snuffles even worse. So she's currently on straw bedding at the minute. But this just says it's hygienic and easy to use and creates a comfy cosy home. So this will be going into storage, I won't be chucking it out or anything because if ever we run out of straw, unfortunately wood shavings might be our only option. So I will be saving this. I also got her a new litter tray and it just sits in the corner of the hutch or cage and as you can see we're going with the purple theme at the minute. It has been used already which is why there's just some litter at the bottom but it's really nice and Rosie likes it. <laughs> what are you doing? Cheeky bun. What are you doing? Yeah, she likes that. She's sitting on it. You are invading my video. <laughs> Where is he? Come on. It's a little tray. It's not that good. Okay, see you later. So yeah, so that's just the new letter tray that we got. Okay, the next thing that I got for her was just some new Burgess XL Dandelion and Marigold Herbage. Rosie absolutely loves this. She goes crazy for it, as you can see. She's eating some at the minute. So, yeah, this just contains meadow hay dandelion and marigold as it says on the front so I just put this in the hay bowl for her she loves it so much and it's quite a compressed bag so it lasts a decent amount of time I also got her a new bag of the Bob Martin My Little Friend Meadow Hay and she has been biting holes in this I don't know why but she just has so yeah this is the her kind of basic hay that we have she loves it she's eating it through the bag yeah, she really likes the meadow hay inside. It's got nice long strands. It's quite green. I know it doesn't show up on camera, but it's quite green. All this bag is anyway. And we get this from Sainsbury's and we just get the one kilogram bag. Okay, the next thing that I got, which is just slightly too big to fit on camera, but it's just the Sainsbury's wool cat litter. And this is just the litter that you use in a litter tray. It's a lot cheaper than the pets at home litter and it's a bigger bag and it lasts so much longer so yes that's just the litter that we use really. <laughs> the last supply that I got which is slightly too big to fit on camera is the large straw bale from pets at home and this is the bedding that Rosie's on. She's on a newspaper base and then this is just put over the top and as you can see it is a super compressed bag so it's going to last us a long long time. Okay everyone so I do have a little toy and treat haul for you. These are some of Rosie's Christmas presents and you will see the official Christmas haul later in December where there will be so so much more. It's by far one of my favourite hauls to film. So here's just a little sneaky peek of things that you'll be seeing in there. I have let some of my Facebook friends have a little look and I thought it would only be fair if I let my YouTube subscribers have a look as well. So I got things from Pets at Home, a local pet shop and also Matalan, which is a bit of an odd place to get pet products from, but you'll see why in a minute. So we'll start with the things I got from Pets at Home. The first thing that I have from Pets at Home is this Goodbye Tiny and Natural Cornstarch Carrot. Rosie goes through these so, so quickly. The last one that she had was from Picky Farm and she destroyed it. She loved it so, so much. So that's just that. 
Next, I got her a packet of Pick and Mix Hearty Nibbles. Again, Piggy Farm gave Rosie some of these in the contest prize package that he sent, and she loved them. She's still got quite a lot left, so I just thought I'd buy another packet for her, which will be saved until Christmas. So yes, I'll show you the items that I got from my local pet shop now. First, I got her this Board and Breaker Naturals Dandelion Delight with Dandelion, Melissa and Plantain, and this is just 100 grams, and it's very, there's just so much healthy nutrients in here and Rose loves treats like this. Next I got her this small and furry bunny fun safe all natural toss toy which just has three wooden bunnies, some coloured shapes and it's just held tightly together with some sisal rope. And by far one of my favourite Christmas presents that I've bought Rosie so far is this board and breaker Christmas pudding roller for rabbits, hamsters and other small animals. And that's just what it looks like. And then while I was in Matalan, I was looking at all the Christmas decorations and I noticed this. And it kind of reminded me of the Willow Heart from the Woodlands Range in Pets at Home. And it was only £2 so I thought I'd pick it up. Obviously I will be cutting the bells off in the little cardboard heart. But I'm sure Rosie will really appreciate having something Christmassy in her cage or in the hutch wherever I do decide to put it. And she would love like kind of tearing it apart. So... Yeah, next time you're in Matalan, have a look at the natural Christmas items and you might find something for your pets. Okay everyone, so that's it for today's haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing different supplies and the toys and treats. Just like a little sneaky peek into things that you'll be seeing at Christmas. So yeah, thank you again for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye!